Hi everyone, we are getting ready to roast, or we just started roasting our next batch of dark chocolate. We're doing a 70% dark chocolate this time with a bean from Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic called Zorzal. Uh, the Zorzal bean, we've heard good things about it, we can't wait to taste it, we haven't tasted it yet. But we've made some minor modifications to our Coker Town roaster here. So this is a 220 volt power roaster. Um, in, in Celsius here. We usually have it maxed out. Um, we used to use a sheet metal drum, which had small holes in it, and it, we noticed that the temperature inside the drum was a vast different than the temperature in the oven. So here we've just done our first batch, or first roasted our first batch here and got our beans out. But while we were roasting, we noticed the temperatures were much closer together between um, what was in the oven and what was inside of the basket. So that basket over there is like, you know, it has, it's more of a basket than a drum. Um, and so it allows, it allows the heat to get in a lot easier, which is great. Uh, so we noticed the temperatures were really close together, which is really good. And we feel like we have more control over the process when we know the temperatures and we can actually affect the temperature inside the drum. So here's our cracker. Um, we put the roasted beans and cooled beans at the top of there. They flow down through here. It's like a paper shredder. It's a couple of wheels that rotate a certain distance apart that crack all the, the beans into the nibs. Um, not quite separated from the shells from the nibs yet, but they're cracked. The winnower, winnower over there will separate the two. Down there, go down through there, down into here. And this is about what it looks like at the end after we've cracked them. We talked to Coco Town and they recommended we set our cracker at 30. There's settings that go all the way up to like 100 from 0, 10, 20, all the way up to 100. They recommended 30 for cracking. And then also on our metering on our wheel over there, they recommended 30 on that too. So we learned a lot of new things by talking to our friends at Coco Town. Uh, we usually crack twice and then winnow twice. Uh, at least evaluating the nibs or the cracked beans here to determine if we're going to need to do it twice or not. Hi everyone, this is Jeff and Lee with Downwood Chocolate. This is our winnower and our expert winnower, Lee, here. Uh, we learned some interesting things about the winnower. First, uh, there's a metering device up here. They recommended setting that at 30. We were doing it at 50, so we're probably going a little too fast as far as like it allows the beans or the cracked beans to come down through here. Um, and then as, as that rotates, the metering device rotates, it lets the beans fall down into the shaft here. And then the shaft is vacuum, has a vacuum on it. And they also taught us about this little thing here we never noticed. So if it's open, then you get less vacuum. If it's closed, you get more of a vacuum. So we're gonna leave it mostly closed to uh, improve the vacuum seal there. And then next up, we're just gonna take our cracked beans there and uh, turn it on, the vacuum on, and uh, we're gonna start winnowing our beans. So Lee's uh, using a scoop to put the cracked beans into the top of the winnower. Then the metering device here only lets a certain amount through into the shaft. So I'll show you the shaft in a minute. The shaft, the heavier stuff falls down to the bottom here, that's the nib. And then over here, uh, the vacuum sucks it up and into the uh, cyclone. And uh, that's the shells of the husks. The husks are really good for making cocoa tea. So we'll look at that from the front side here. You can kind of see in the uh, shaft here with the light on, uh, the nibs are falling down, 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 there into the pan, and then the uh, shells are getting sucked up into the vacuum tube, into the cyclone, and falling down here. And that's what we make the cocoa tea out of, is the uh, husk, and then the nibs here will go on to be belong to our chocolate.